What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Today, we are reacting to another video game donkeys video, uh, Donkey Kong Begins. Now, I'm a big fan of Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is one of my favorite Nintendo characters ever. He probably is my, no, he is my favorite Nintendo character ever. So, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm reacting. We're gonna see what this video is about. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Original video will be linked down below in the description as well. Oh, not as, as well. Follow me on Twitch though. It'll pop up on the screen. Follow me on Instagram. That'll be right there below. And now, let's get to the video. Comment down below your favorite Nintendo character. Nintendo company is funny. Their latest toy called the Rabbit Coaster allows you to race four jelly beans. The Rabbit down Coaster. A slide. I guess that the beans are supposed to be rabbits. It looks pretty fun. Their next toy was called Picture. People do it marble Players racing now. Given weird scissors Innovation. To cut pieces of paper with. This is like the toys they had in the Great Depression. Nintendo had all these contraptions. What was that? Hold on. So Nintendo was making like just players are given games. weird scissors that they can cut pieces of paper with. This is like the oh. toys they had in the yeah, Great no. Depression. That's, Nintendo that's had trash. all these contraptions like this little home bully. The Nintendo Ultra Hand, the stupid ass hip flip. They had a what toy called Ellie Conga. The original. So Nintendo was like making actual games, like board games and stuff. I didn't, I never do that. The original version of Duck Hunt would project the little ducks onto your wall. The Ultra Machine That's kind of tough. You little t -balls. That's ah. tough. With this combination, that's tough. That's tough. Electronic know-how. It only made sense for Nintendo to embrace the emerging industry of video games. And in 1978, Nintendo released their first tabletop arcade. Hold on, before we get in, in any further, I know Donkey Kong was originally in. It was a Mario game. It wasn't Mario. It was called like Mr. Jumpman or something. And Donkey Kong was in there. Or somebody like his grandfather. It's some weird. I looked it up. I am a Donkey Kong fan, so I looked it up, and then from there on, it became his own thing with Donkey Kong and Mario. Yada yada yada. Did Donkey Kong became by itself? Machine called. So I know a little bit. Fever. The hell is that? Block Fever. Breakout. Very, very obviously just ripped it off. Then they did a game called <laughs> Space Launcher. They were ripping off the Space Invaders on this one, and the promo art. Damn, y'all really was. Fighters from Star Wars. Y'all really were just stealing stuff. 1980, the president of hey, it was calls Michael. everybody in the company on a big, big phone, and he says, "Today we do, are do, do, going do, do, do. ape shit with the release of our new video game, Monkey Magic." Reggie of America was blown away. Monkey he Magic. Thousand units to be shipped to the United States the next day, but then he actually played the game. See, I didn't know about this. This was the biggest mistake of my whole career. There isn't even a fucking monkey in this game. And it's just ripping off a breakout again. So to fix Is that not the monkey? Game, uh, the, the little face? Hired a guy called Nintendo Miyamoto who teamed up with Gunpei Yokoi, inventor of the Nintendo Love Tester. With their powers combined, these two came up with the idea that they should add a monkey to the game. Except <laughs> Miyamoto had absolutely zero Miyamoto. experience in developing a video game. Other than doing the music, the only semi-relevant skill he brought to the table were his illustrations. And even hey. then, his talents were dubious at best when reggie asked miyamoto to change the main character hey. of a monkey into a donkey miyamoto replied okay here is the concept art of the new character donkey kong and still to this day this is what miyamoto thinks a donkey looks like <laughs> yeah that's extremely yeah that's development cycle miyamoto had to learn from the ground up that's crazy. how a video game was actually created as the game's director pretty much all he did was bounce ideas off the four programmers asking them can we do this how hard is it to do this that's impossible what if we do this? Why? Why was this completely unproven man selected to direct an $800,000 video game? Bags. Well, because he uh, had won a contest. Maybe it was his lack of... No, oh, I clicked... Oh, fuck. I clicked off. Without rules. I'll be back. Oh, never mind. We, we here. I'm just, just bear with me. Just bear, bear with me. Nintendo yep, 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 yep. The idea... Edit, won a contest, won a contest. That's what I was trying to pause at. Yep, 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 yep. What the? F <laughs> Can we do this? How did I? Stop, bro. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. He uh, had one. There we go. Maybe it was his. 
What contest? I could have just paused and said it. What contest did he win? I'm, I'm done. Them did ideas I'm they done. Normally wouldn't, or maybe the programmers were just really good and Miyamoto kept egging them on. Whatever happened, the end result was the most complex <laughs> game ever created up to that point. DK, DK. Are you? In many ways, Donkey Kong was yeah. a breakthrough title. It wasn't just the first Donkey Kong game. It wasn't just the first Mario game. It was the first platformer. It was the first game to have a character running into obstacles. It was the second game to have distinct stages or levels. Before Donkey Kong games would just repeat one stage at varying speeds and difficulties. Even though it also looped, Donkey Kong stages were stitched together with cutscenes and various melodies featuring an actual conclusion to its story. My boy Playing DK, Donkey. I mean he losing, you but that this game is fucked up. If Mario falls three yeah. feet, he will die to fall damage. That kills you. Oh, I didn't know that. Slow, but the obstacles are extremely fast and erratic, and they kill you oh. in one hit. Most players are too afraid <laughs> to even leave the spawn area, but then a flame enemy crawls out of the oil and chases you up the screen like a motherfucker type of guy. It is such a brutal, <laughs> unforgiving game, but the stratospheric difficulty also heightens the drama of it all. In this one image, Donkey Kong tells an entire story you have donkey kong all the way at the top floor he's the ceo it's okay? king he kong the lady and he spends his days just fucking around laughing and chucking barrels then you have mario he's a blue collar guy he probably Link. built the building that donkey kong's standing on he starts all the way down at the bottom and has to go through hell literally climbing up the ladder of success. okay this one's one some deep the story when that's what this is reaches the top what does donkey kong do he jumps up 50 floors in three <laughs> seconds. This game is about life. In its first year, Donkey Kong generated $180 million for Nintendo. For many developers, a success like that Golly. would have been the pinnacle of their career. For Miyamoto, it was just one minor step onto far greater works. But Donkey Mario Kong looked coked out, right? Really? But it wouldn't be until 13 years later that the series got its next major installment with an absolutely massive success that made the original look like a demo this game would be called donkey kong what the fuck what the fuck i was not expecting that to be any all right bro so i mean yeah that's that's donkey kong and in a nutshell basically i mean like i said comment down below your favorite nintendo character um let's go back to the coked out mario real quick before i, before I even leave let's, let's let me let me where yeah where you he's right right here right he was like right here Load up, load up. No, okay, we, we're close though. We're close though. Where's the coked out Mario? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, talking about blue collar worker rising to the top. Yep, 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 yep. Getting to the top of this for the CEO is life, life cycle, work cycle. Uh, goodbye. Takes the girl, goes up there's some more stairs. Um, broke, broke his heart, broke his heart. Um, they they made 180, 180 million. Coked out Mario right here. Now, imagine. Imagine seeing this, right? Imagine seeing this in your dreams. Imagine seeing that mascot at Disney or now they have Nintendo Land or was it? Is it Nintendo Land or Mario Land? Something like that. Imagine seeing this, this one there waiting for you to walk in. How the, do you promote this? How do you promote that? That's disgusting. That's nasty. This man, I, bruh, he looked like he ain't slept in two weeks, my boy. Look at this, man. He just got out of the bathroom doing, oh, oh, wrong thing. He just got out the bathroom doing a line. Like, I mean, it, it is what it is back then. I guess that's what they had. That's what they had. <laughs> Couldn't be me, though. Me, personally, I wouldn't approve that. Me, personally. All right, y'all. <laughs> That's it for the video. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, original video will be linked down below in the description. So check that out. And follow me on TikTok. And follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Peace.